Hey, what's happening? This is Jerry with Wealth Dynamics. I want to thank you for tuning in today. I want to talk to you about one thing. How do you build wealth using life insurance? Now, I brought this subject up before. I want to actually give you the mechanics so that you understand how this works. Now, my goal is to help you build wealth so that you can eliminate scarcity in your life and own your potential. Now, we're going to use life insurance as a tool to get there. So here's a couple things you need to know about. When clients are using life insurance to build wealth, there's only a couple things that matter here. Number one, we're looking for evasion of taxes. We don't want taxes. We want to get out of the taxation system. This doesn't mean a Roth IRA. This does mean you have tax-free benefits with liquidity. That's important. Number two is safety. You need to know that this money is not going anywhere for any reason, that you can't lose it, that it can't go down in value, nothing like that. All right. Now, number three is liquidity. Liquidity means you can access the funds now. You're not waiting till you're 59 and a half. There's none of that garbage or nonsense. You have money in the account. You can use it. You can start investing with it. Number four is actually using the concept of leverage. Okay, there's a concept called fractional reserve banking. If you don't know about it, you need to because banks take advantage of you all day long, every single day with this concept. And you could be using it, and that's what we're going to use the life insurance for. Now, to actually talk specifics, when you're setting up your policy, there are all of these different things you could do. There's only one right thing you should do. Okay, so the first thing to look at is you need to be looking at the company you're working with. So you need to find a mutual company. Mutual means that as a policyholder, you're also an owner of the company. You need to be looking at companies that are at least 100 years old because if you're not, I mean, you're basically working with a baby. You don't know how long it's gonna be there for. There's no consistency or reliability. You also need to be looking at how long have they paid dividends. Okay, many companies have paid dividends for over a century consistently, and that's important. You need good financial strength. You need good consumer reports. You need a company that can give you access to your accounts online because you're going to be using this as a bank account in a sense. Okay, that's just the company. Now, number two thing you're looking at here, you need to be then be then be looking at the policy. Okay, there's only one type of policy that you should be doing. Everything else, in my opinion, is not a good idea for this strategy. You need to be looking at participating, which is dividend paying, whole life insurance. That's right, dividend paying whole life insurance, participating whole life insurance. Now, that's just like the base, the chassis. You're also going to add a couple of bells and whistles that make this thing good for saving money. Otherwise, if you just bought whole life insurance, it would be a terrible idea and you would make no money on it. Okay, that's where that's where Dave Ramsey totally agree with the guy. You would make no money if you did this wrong. If you do it right, it's a great strategy, but you actually have to know how to do it, which is where I come in and help you. Okay, so you need to have what's called a paid up additions rider, which maxes the amount of liquidity that you have and it lowers the cost of insurance. You also need to have a term insurance rider that artificially inflates the death benefit, allowing you to put more money into the policy without running into any tax issues. You also need to be working with a company that pays participating dividends that can go towards buying more paid up additions on the rider. All right. Now, there's a couple other things to consider, but those are the main points on the life insurance policy itself. Now, a couple things in addition to that, you need to make sure that you're working with an agent that actually knows the strategy. They know the game plan. Why? Because there's so many just life insurance peddlers out there that they're excited that they work for a company and they want to tell you all about their product and they're going to talk to you about building up a nest egg. Building up a nest egg is one of the worst things you could possibly do. It's a terrible idea. If money goes down in value, why in hell would we build up a pile of it to live on? You want income producing assets. So you need to be working with a professional that understands the entire goal is to allow you to stop trading time for money. The only way to do that is for you to secure income producing assets that you don't have to sell in order to generate the income and that the insurance policy is a tool to expedite, speed up and strengthen that process. Okay, so I hope that that helps. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. As always, I have an article that I wrote for you that delineates all of the things I just covered. I'm going to throw this down in the comments for you. Check it out. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions on the life insurance topic, hit me up. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.